Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Jarris and I am a military spouse, a mom of two boys, and an Etsy seller of six years. I've done $1.25 million on Etsy. Now I teach other Etsy shops and people who want to have Etsy shops how to get to that multi six figure level. It is not easy, it is a lot of hard work, but I've put in six years of trial and error and I'm really boiling down the steps to get you there as quickly as possible without having to do all of those years of trial and error yourself. My methods and strategies are the things that got me to $134,000 in my first year on Etsy. I was making $10,000 a month um, starting in month four, and it just increased from there. It got me to $245,000 by year three and to $360,000 by year four. My methods and strategies are things that actually did work for me um, and that I'm still using in my shop today. So I give you the sprinting strategy that you need when you're first starting out trying to get traction, and then I give you the marathon strategy that you need when you're scaling and building this business to be long-term, full-time, sustainable income. So today's video I wanted to make because a lot of people have come to me and said, I really want to do Etsy full-time. Like, I wanna make this my full-time thing. Some of those people are working nine to five jobs. Some of those people aren't working at all right now. Some people have five small children at home. Some people are retired and have extra time on their hands. So really, Etsy does not discriminate. There is a full range of different types of people, different stages of life that want to make a full-time income there and that can make it a full-time income. So today I'm going to talk about the key things that you absolutely need in order to make Etsy a full-time income. If you're considering doing Etsy full-time, these are things that you absolutely have to consider. Without these things, your um, full-time Etsy status might not last very long. As I said, Etsy has been my full-time job for six years. Before Etsy, I was working in e-commerce as a buyer. That's the person who buys everything you see on a website. Um, they do all the planning of inventory, the forecasting of sales, um, all the pricing strategy, everything like that. That's my whole background before I came to Etsy. I, I started doing that from eight to five right out of college. So I worked for Zappos.com in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I worked for Zulily up in Seattle. When I met my husband, he was in the military. He was a submarine officer and that meant that we were not gonna be in Seattle very long. So we ended up moving to San Diego. And here in San Diego, I had a really hard time finding a job in e-commerce. I really, really did not wanna take a step back. Um, I was making about 100,000 a year. I did not wanna take a pay cut. I was really bound and determined not to take a step back. So I was doing a lot of side hustles in between. I was dog walking, I was house sitting, I was selling jewelry from China on eBay. I was doing all sorts of things. And one of those things was Etsy. I put one listing up just one listing. It was probably like three words in the title and it was one photo. If that tells you anything, it tells you I did not intend for that to be, become my full-time job. My, my whole strategy at that time was to open up as many income streams as possible, hoping that the aggregate amount would kind of, um, in total, would kind of be a bridge for me between corporate jobs. But after... After like 10, 11 months, I finally got the job offer that I had been waiting for, an e-commerce job at the Petco headquarters up in Poway, a little bit north of San Diego. And I think the offer was 100,000, but I countered at 110 and they met me at 110. So to me, that was a great step up. And I thought, okay, I should probably take this. By that point, I was starting to see Etsy have some traction. So when I turned down that corporate job offer, I was deciding that Etsy was going to be my full-time job. That was when I made that decision. So I made that decision to do Etsy full-time, not while I was working another job, but because I had that direct comparison of Etsy versus this $110,000 salary, I was like 25, 26 years old, but it gave me the clear motivation to make it work. I had to beat that corporate salary if I was going to bet on myself and turn down something that was such stable income with a good resume building job. So the number one thing that I think you need in order to make Etsy your full-time job is honestly to feel like you have no choice. You have to tell yourself that this is the way. There's so much money to be made on Etsy and it's all about you choosing that that's gonna be your path. It does not mean that you're going to get it right the first time. It does not mean that your first product idea is gonna be the winner. It doesn't mean that you're gonna nail it and hit it out of the park in the first month or two. But you're deciding and you're committing to be determined and persistent and relentless in your pursuit of making Etsy your full-time job. Feeling as if you have no choice, um, feeling as if you are not going to give yourself an out, feeling as if you have to make it happen is going to be so key in making this happen faster for you. If you feel like, oh, it would be nice to get some extra income from Etsy, 
that that would be kind of nice um you know i could use some extra spending money you know i kind of like crafting maybe i'll just dabble in it okay that is not gonna get you a full-time income and honestly if you go into it with that mentality you'll probably fizzle out before you even get traction not to be a debbie downer and not to be not to be pessimistic but for the majority of people who decide to just dabble in etsy just for fun kick it around see what happens it does not gain traction quickly enough for them to be motivated to work to work on their business so literally i recommend mentally backing yourself into a corner okay i know this sounds really dramatic but back yourself into a corner and say this i am going to make this work this has to work i need this to happen and i'm going to make it happen even if i don't see results right away i'm going to persist and i'm going to be relentless in my pursuit of making this my full-time income so if you are transitioning maybe you're working full-time right now and maybe you want to transition into doing etsy full-time Yes, I do not recommend just quitting your job and going for it. Um, I do recommend having overlap. I do recommend building your Etsy income up to a point that shows consistency and reliability so that you can comfortably walk away from your nine to five. I am a very conservative, pragmatic person, especially when it comes to finances. I'm not someone who takes big financial risks. I'm very pragmatic and practical. So that is what my advice is. And that is what my coaching is. So if you want to transition between working full time and then making Etsy your full time income, that is completely possible. Now I will say it is going to take longer than if you are not doing anything and just doing Etsy 100% from day one. It will take longer, but sometimes when, when results take longer, you see the results building slowly and steadier and it feels more comfortable to walk away from a job because you're seeing the slow steady build and in your mind it feels more like okay this is reliable this is steady this isn't like i had one lucky month where my sales were great and now i can quit right this is going to be something where where you're chipping away and you're slowly building and growing and improving and your sales are increasing and it's going to give you the reassurance that you can rely on etsy to be consistent income for you and that is more the path that you would take if you are transitioning between one full-time job to making Etsy your full-time job. The next thing you need in making Etsy your full-time job is to build a business that is all about consistency. There are so many shops on Etsy that are up and down and they are seasonal or they have, um, you know, they have strong sales in the spring, but then they really slow down in the fall or they're really big during holiday, but then they crash, you know, after the new year. If you want Etsy to be your full-time job, we need to have sustainable year round income. We are not going to build a seasonal business and then rely on that for your full time income. That's absolutely not the approach I would take. As someone who's, you know, financially more conservative, that is not a risk that I would recommend taking. Another part of this consistency is that we need your income to be there no matter what is going on in the world, no matter what is going on in the global economy or in your local economy. We need to have Etsy's income be stable despite the ups and downs in the stock market, despite you know layoffs, despite everything that's going on. And we do not want our sales to be dependent on trends or seasonality. In my program, Multi Six Figure Etsy Blueprint, I teach you exactly the steps to do this. Now, so many YouTube videos out there and so many coaches out there teach you, pick a niche, pick a niche, niche down, right? Like I, I just have that ringing through my head. What does that mean though? And what is the result of picking a niche when the global economy is in shambles or when trends come and go or when the seasons change? A niche does not guarantee consistent stable income. It absolutely does not guarantee consistent stable income and that is the core problem with picking a niche. That is why my approach that I teach in Multi Six Figure Etsy Blueprint is not picking a niche. That is not what we start with. That's not what we lead with because that's creating a foundation that is dependent on so many things outside of our control. So my approach is different. It's not the typical Etsy 101 pick a niche, but my strategy and, and my methods are proven, okay? These are proven in my business and across Etsy. This method is proven. And this is exactly what makes my program a lot different than the other ones out there. Because I want my students to have stable full-time income where they can sleep at night and not worry about what is going on in the world around them and how that will affect their livelihood. That's not financial freedom. Financial freedom is having peace about where your money is coming from and it gives you flexibility and freedom 
to ch make choices in your life, to choose how you spend your time, to choose when you travel, to choose what activities your kids are in without worrying. You know, I hope, I hope it's a good Christmas season this year. I hope Q4 is good. I hope the holiday season is good for my shop because otherwise I don't know if I can afford to put Jimmy in basketball this year. Like we, this is, this is, that's not financial freedom. Okay. We don't want to hope that our Q4 is really strong and that December is a really strong month for our sales because otherwise I don't know if that I can put my little, you know, Susie in dance class this winter. Like that is not the approach. That is not financial freedom. That's not the approach that we teach. What I'm teaching you is how to build a business on Etsy that is consistent, not dependent on the global economy, not dependent on seasonality or trends. So I'm teaching you how to build your own business that will bring you peace. And peace is everything. So if you work with me in multi six figure Etsy blueprint, the goal of my program is to make you more than full time income. All right, because realistically, when you're an entrepreneur, part of having that piece is having extra cushion, right? We want to have more than full time income so that you can really decide when you want to work, maybe even where you want to work from. And the goal of this is building wealth and financial freedom. I am not about getting sales on Etsy to get sales. I am not about making money on Etsy to have money in the bank. The goal of this is building wealth, generational wealth and financial freedom. It's a lifestyle that you can create for yourself. And I know this sounds really lofty and maybe a little bit woo woo, uh, maybe far fetched, but you know what? If you are resourceful and hardworking and determined, Etsy is a great vehicle to spend your time to see a huge return on that investment. And I would not be saying that if I had not done it myself. I am not an artist, but I am a business person. And I'm not teaching you artistry, but I am teaching you the business side that's gonna get you sustainable long-term income that is more than full-time income. To be full-time income, you have to know what that means for you. What is that full-time income? What is that profit that you wanna have per month? Not just your sales, because Lord knows, there's a lot of costs and fees out there. Whether that be $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month or $40,000 a month, you need to have that in mind. This income needs to be profit after all of Etsy's fees, after your costs, after shipping, after everything. In my course, we do this calculation together and that equation backs us into exactly how many products you need to sell per day to get to that income goal. So I give you the exact equation to do this and I help you figure out what's realistic and the timing for it. Because if you have never done this before, how do you expect to just figure out how to make Etsy your full-time income, right? You're trying to go from A to Z, but what's all the in-between? How are you navigating that? And how do you know the path to take? So what I do is I lead you on that path and I lead you on the exact path that I took. And this works for all categories on Etsy from handmade to digital, to print on demand, to vintage, to supplies. So I help break this down for you so that you know exactly how many sales you need to have per month. I help you break this down into a more tangible figure so that you know exactly how many sales you need to have each day to hit that goal. Part of making Etsy your full-time job is making smart investments along the way. There are so many millionaires who end up losing everything, okay? Lifestyle inflation is a thing. It's that cash flow from the business. You want to be able to pay yourself. You want to be able to reinvest in inventory and in products for your shop that are in demand, whether that be digital, print on demand, or whatever, because you still want to be able to reinvest in your business and expand your product offering. But you also need to make sure you're taking some of this income to make stable outside investments. Diversify your risks. This is exactly why and how we have over two and a half million dollars of real estate here in San Diego. That all came about over the last six years. We just kept taking that cash and reinvesting into different investment vehicles. And real estate was one of those. If you are gonna have Etsy be your full-time job, you wanna have an extra layer of security with diversification of your risk. I think anytime you're self-employed, it's more peace of mind to have a cushion and to not have all of your eggs in one basket. So diversification of your income, of your Etsy funds will give you that peace of mind because you know that you're putting that money to work. The key is putting that money to work and allow it to grow and appreciate. So invest and hold. This isn't day trading. The last thing you do to make Etsy your full-time income is to get your spouse or your partner on board. If you're having a hard time doing that, do not feel like it's a lost cause. Just keep your head down and keep taking steps forward. Keep pushing, keep taking the steps. 
Once your partner or spouse sees the fruits of your labor and that huge amount of money coming in from your hard work, they will change their tune. I've seen this happen with so many people. Once they see a glimpse of the results and the potential, they will often take an interest. That is when I found that it really becomes a partnership and a family business. Your spouse or your partner will see the rocket ship taking off. They will see how it could change your entire family's future. They want to be a part of it. This is exactly what happened with my husband and I, although he was really on board from day one. It's just the type of person he is. But it has been so rewarding for our marriage and our family. It is so rewarding to create dreams and goals together and to work towards them together and then to achieve them together. There is nothing more special than that. If you want to make Etsy your full-time income, it is 100% possible. If you're thinking maybe my own website, maybe Amazon, maybe you know Shopify, like what should I do? Start with Etsy because you're going to have the quickest results here and you can always expand onto the other platforms later, which is exactly what I did. So in my, in my course, multi six figure Etsy blueprint, I teach you from ground zero, how to get traction. And, and then in the module about scaling and improving profitability, then we talk about when it's time to go on to Shopify, go on to Amazon to create your own website. That is not the place to start. If you want to be self-employed, and earn that full-time income the fastest. I would 100% start with Etsy. If you are interested in making this happen for yourself and you are and you have the mindset of I have to make this happen, I need this to happen, like I would love to talk to you. I would love to just hear about what your background is, what your situation is. Um, what you even want to get from Etsy. And I will be totally honest if I think it's realistic. I do not want you to waste your time. And I know how life-changing it can be if you make it happen. If you're interested in talking more or joining my course, Multi Six Figure Etsy Blueprint, the doors are open. Students are off to the races. You know, once you join, it's go time. It's time to make it happen. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Connect with me over on Instagram at Dylan Jaris. I post over there daily. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.